गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर्स वेलकम अगेन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हेयर अबाउट न्यूरोलॉजी मेडिसिन एम सी क्यूज दीज आर प्रीवियस ईयर एम सी क्यूज फॉर नीट पी जी इन मल्टीपल स्क्लोरेस स्लो कंडक्शन ऑफ मोटर एंड सेंसरी पाथवे इज ड्यू टू डिफेक्ट इन रोड ऑफ रैनवेयर लॉस ऑफ माइलिन शीत leaking of sodium channel axonal damage so the best answer here is loss of myelin sheath in nerves that's why uh, it is most common pathology okay now first reflex to reappear after spinal shock is the reflex which is reappear first after spinal shock is cremastric ankle superficial abdominal or ab bulbo cavernous reflex so bulbo cavernous reflex is the first reflex which reappear after a spinal shock okay ankle reflex is mediated by ankle reflex is mainly mediated by s1 okay what is the root value of normal plantar response root value for normal plantar response is s1 okay right hand dominant patient present with normal comprehension but speaks with short utterances of a few words at a time comprised mostly of nouns what is the most probable location of the lesion so the answer here is left inferior frontal gyrus left inferior frontal gyrus okay pure word deafness is associated with uh, as i already explained all about uh, middle cerebral uh, stroke pneumonics and posterior cerebral stroke pneumonics deafness so deafness uh, why it is due to middle cerebral artery stroke stroke uh, it involves upper limb of right upper limb and uh, also right or left uh, region uh, so middle cerebral artery stroke i already explained with a help of pneumonic like a modem on a head and the lesion in the middle cerebral artery stroke right side then contralateral Uh, left side uh, there is a deafness of words and uh, right upper arm uh, paresthesia is also so hope it's clear in posterior cerebral stroke i already explained about pc uh, where uh, there is also if posterior cerebral artery stroke in right side then uh, left side occur um, uh contralateral it affects the part of body and uh, there is alexia without agraphia for uh, vision it responsible for okay global aphasia is seen due to this is mainly seen due to stroke involving middle cerebral artery distribution in left hemisphere okay now 60 year old man non case of hypertension and post mi post mi operated by cabg he was prescribed warfarin but he was not complained to treatment one day he developed sudden onset of paralysis and inability to speak which of the following is not true regarding his management monitoring of ptinir is required yes this is required EEG is one of the first line management absolutely right brain imaging is not required EEG is normal so this option is a false statement they are asking accept so this is the best answer 2d echo recommended in this patient absolutely right now which of the following is not a feature of upper motor neuron lesion in upper motor neuron lesion we see positive babinski sign yes normal now conduction study absolutely right hyperactive tendon reflexes yes but positive sharp wave on emg is seen in lower motor neuron lesion not in upper motor so c is the option here uh, now this table uh, represents how to remember in lower motor neuron weakness in both so uh, remember how to remember uh, there is atrophy in lower motor neuron whereas uh, 
and uh, fasciculation in lower motor neuron and flaccid paralysis in lower motor neuron uh, and in case of upper motor neuron increased reflexes increased tone babinski sign positive spastic paralysis and normal emg nerve conduction studies okay remember this table guy frontal lobe syndrome consists of euphoria indifference irritability and d all of the above so answer here is d all of the above now prosopagnosia is defined as inability to read inability to read is uh, agraphia read uh, no it's alaxia alaxia it's inability to read okay alaxia inability to identify faces is prosopagnosia prosopagnosia okay and inability to write is agraphia agraphia and inability to speak agnosia okay so hope it's clear prosopagnosia is caused by lesion of occipital temporal prosopagnosia is due to lesion in occipital temporal hope it's clear now weber syndrome includes all except weber syndrome there is cranial nerve third palsy absolutely right contralateral hemiparesis yes anterior cerebral peduncle included absolutely right but dorsal midbrain involvement is not in weber syndrome okay hope it's clear now uh so answer here is anterior cerebral peduncle is not sorry so answer is anterior cerebral peduncle okay now embolism of pica what is pica pica is posterior inferior cerebral artery uh, this another name is lateral medullary syndrome or wallenberg syndrome so uh, embolism of posterior inferior cerebral artery causes wallenberg syndrome or let lateral medullary syndrome okay now a person presents with cortical blindness and nystagmus ataxia and this dio conesia which artery is likely to be involved so answer here is posterior cerebral artery how to remember i explain uh, in mnemonics about posterior cerebral artery it affects uh, the occipital region also and uh, it causes sometimes blindness so posterior cerebral artery this is a pc pc i have given a mnemonic example pc posterior pc so pc you have to vision responsible for vision so vision is affected and here is alexia without agraphia whereas anterior cerebral artery i explain aren't on uh, uh, anterior side of brain anterior cerebral artery means aren't remember and it causes urinary incontinence and uh, uh, lower limb involvement contralaterally and mca middle cerebral modem i give a example uh, for aphasia etc right work so watch all that videos most common cause of non traumatic intracerebral hemorrhage is remember hypertension bp pneumonic bp b b means muscle ganglia most common involved and most common cause of intracerebral hemorrhage non traumatic is hypertension now investigation of for choice diffuse axonal injury is mri is the best okay risk factors for alzheimer's disease include that is down syndrome down syndrome okay which lobe early course of alzheimer disease is medial temporal lobe so answer here is medial temporal lobe now vascular dementia develops secondary to infarct in both gray and white matter both gray and white matter now chorea occurs due to damage of chorea mainly occurs due to damage in striatum striatum okay now a child present with neurological symptoms has a following feature what test is to be done next c i am going to give you example here this picture is not colorful black and white 
but this is a sunflower cataract we can say sunflower cataract seen but this is not cataract here this is sunflower appearance we can say uh, copper deposition or kaiser fleischer ring this is an wilson disease so the best test for wilson disease is serum ceruloplasmin level serum ceruloplasmin level okay true about ataxia telangiectasia are all except ataxia telangiectasia is autosomal recessive not and dominant occurs in adult oculomotor apraxia poor coordination and telangiectasia present so answer is a now huntington's disease is commonly seen in age group between the age group for huntington's disease is 25 to 45 years okay now violent abnormal flying movements which are irregular and affecting one side are called as uh, violent abnormal flanging movements irregular affecting one side this is known as hemibalismus hemi one sided one sided hemi partially okay answer is hemibalismus which of the following disease are not caused by misfolding of proteins misfolding protein the disease not caused that is parkinson disease parkinson's disease okay tots paralysis is experienced following episode of tots paralysis includes focal seizure focal seizure focal seizure okay now feature which differentiate seizure from syncope include the following except no immediate precipitating factors like straight wall salva orthostatic hypotension immediate transition to unconsciousness presence of cyanosis and frothing of mouth presence of premonitory symptoms like diaphoresis and tunneling of vision so the best answer here is this presence of premonitory symptoms like diaphoresis and tunneling of visions okay one x encephalopathy develops secondary to accumulation of which substrate so the answer here is glutamate wernicke's encephalopathy uh, due to glutamate accumulation due to reduce in alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase activity to cause all cell damage okay i hope it's clear now true about brown squared syndrome brown squared syndrome contralateral loss of proprioception fine touch and vibration contralateral paralysis ipsilateral loss of pain and temperature contralateral loss of pain and temperature so in brown squared syndrome we see contralateral loss of pain and temperature okay in brown squared syndrome we see contralateral uh, loss of pain and temperature okay and crude touch also we can see now type of sensation lost on same side in brown squared syndrome is proprioception in ipsilateral there is loss of proprioception hope it's clear or we can say vi vibration and light touch is affected in uh, brown squared syndrome okay now which of the following clinical test when positive suggest presence of sensory ataxia so romberg test is responsible for presence of sensory ataxia now criteria for neurofibromatosis type 1 include all except remember cafe pneumonic c a f e cafe sport s p o t sport so how to remember c for cafe outlet so cafe outlet is sport so here they are asking except a for axillary frankels etc uh, and inguinal and uh, p for paternity from parents it transfer and uh, lish nodules were there uh, and ot means optic glioma we can say but bilateral schwannomas is seen in neurofibromatosis type 2 not in type 1 this mnemonic i am going to put individually okay tuberous sclerosis is caused by mutation in the following proteins it is hamartine protein uh, mutation 
uh, seen in tuberous sclerosis. Features of tuberous sclerosis are all except ash leaf uh, macules, absolutely right, adenoma, sebaceum, and angiomyolipoma of kidney, but not erythema migraines. This tuberous sclerosis mnemonic also I am going to put soon in my recent videos, in my new videos, okay. Now, the gene for neurofibromatosis type 2 is located on which chromosome? So, the gene located type 2, remember 2, 2, it's 22, type 2, right, 2, 1, 2, to 22, remember the trick okay now about myasthenia gravis pathogenesis true is in myasthenia gravis there is antibodies against the acetylcholine receptor antibodies against the acetylcholine receptor decremental response on emg is seen in yes in case of myasthenia gravis we see decremental response on emg Whereas in uh, Lambert Eaton syndrome, we see incremental response due to muscle activity, muscles become worse body in myasthenia. But in Lambert Eaton syndrome, due to muscle activity, um, body gets energy. Okay, now Lambert Eaton syndrome, true is same line which I told with continuous stimulation, there is marked increase in amplitude of action potential. There is a marked in uh, increase in amplitude of action potential okay so hope it's clear following are the features of neuropathy associated with varicella zoster infection except persistent infection in neurons of sensory ganglia it's true with reactivation virus transported along nerves to skin absolutely right Shigels are distributed along motor dermatomes. This is false statement. Intranuclear inclusion are not found in peripheral nervous system. It's absolutely right. Now, Frey's syndrome develops secondary to aberrant innervation of skin over parotid by which cranial nerve? That is cranial nerve 9th. Mainly cranial nerve 9th. Now, following is not used in management of postdural headache in postdural headache we use somatriptan epidural blood pitch hydration but not propped up position propped up position is not indicated so guys i already finished here with neurology medicine mcqs previous year and if you have any queries any question you can ask me if somebody is new on my channel please subscribe it thank you good day goodbye that's all for today